Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. Last episode I was messing around with the um, Petrochem refining over here and I boosted the um, refining process with all of these buildings you can see here, which is a bit ridiculous, um, with the idea of getting a steady three plastic per second out of these two machines down here. Now that was all very well and good and I suspect it probably would manage that um, as long as it could keep running for long enough. The problem is I keep running out of gas in these um, containers over here. So I think the next thing to do is to get a bit more gas coming into this system. Now how I'm going to do that is it's slightly trickier. Because there's a nice big patch here, which is really close by. That's very handy. And there's another one down here underneath this base. So between those, that's about 22,000%, which um, sounds like a lot. I don't know. There's another, um, not compared to some of these further down, but at least in the area that I'm sort of close to at the moment, it's a, it seems like a good amount. But this means I need to um, liberate some more territory from the biters in, in order to start building down here. So I think probably the best thing to do will be to build this wall all the way across here to this to this lake here um, and if I if I do it reasonably gradually hopefully I'll be able to take out these nests as I go I'll also need to have some spurs going in to deal with these ones in the middle so that's going to make it a little bit more challenging but it'll keep me busy for a while at least <laughs> make make for probably at least one episode if not more um, and then once I've done that I'll probably also extend this one here at the top at the very least across to here and then build across this um, What's the technical term for a for a small gap between two lakes? I don't know. Um, this this landmass anyway, to, to, and that'll block this area off. So I'll gain all of this territory, and that'll be useful for building on as well, of course. So, um, but it's yeah, there's obviously going to be quite a lot to do in there. The other thing I was going to do before I start that, however, down here with my sulphur, I was going to try and whip up some um, some cliff explosives because well, these cliffs are going to be in the way. These are probably going to be in the way as well. And up here, there's been lots. These are going to be in the way soon. There's lots in the way up here. So basically, I want to get cliff explosives up and running because that'll allow me to. Oh, there we go. The, the, the uh, research is finished. Uh, that'll allow me to actually develop my base a bit more effectively without having to mess around trying to get round any um, any unfortunately placed cliffs in the way. So let's drive over to where the sulphur's being made. And I'll just park in here. That's probably a quite a good place to to, uh, to leave the vehicle. Okay, so. Cliff explosives are done. That's that's the first thing. So to make cliff explosives, I need to make explosives, grenades, and barrels. And to make explosives, I need coal, sulfur, and water, purified water. So I've got purified water in here. Good. Um, sulfur I've got here, and coal I've got just down here. So that's every, everything I need for explosives. The cliff explosives are going to be slightly harder because I'm going to need grenades and empty barrels, which means iron. That's iron and coal, isn't it? Yes and steel for the barrels yes uh, so I think for now I'll probably just build those just feed that by hand because I'm not going to need enormous quantities of cliff explosives at least I don't think I am so split this off off here first <laughs> get some more pelts out of the, this vehicle and okay so I need to make explosives I'll do it a little bit yeah about about here that should give me enough space I don't know where explosives are in here. <laughs> Am I being blind? I have got explosives, haven't I? Yeah, yes. Made those, or I've researched those. How do I make them? It said Angel's Petrochem on there. Are they in here? And why don't they? Why don't they show up when I search? Am I just being completely blind? Right. So it looks like that, but with red. That's fine. I know what they, I know what explosives look like. They look like a bundle of dynamite. I feel they should be in here as an intermediate product because they're not. Ooh, tack drones. Um, because they're not used directly on their own, they're used for other things. But then, so is so many of the other things in this, in the um, in the game. So, or in here, in, in military stuff, because you know they go bang. Where the hell are they? Okay, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask Google because this is ridiculous. Oh, okay. I'm an idiot. You have to make explosives in a chemical plant, not in an assembly machine. Right. Let's try that again with a bit less fail this time. Have I got any chemical plants in here? No, it's a gas refinery. A chemical plant is actually quicker than an advanced chemical plant. All right, let's build the chemical plant instead. So I assume it's cheaper too. Yeah, it's much cheaper. I'll save that advanced one for when I actually need an advanced chemical plant. Or maybe just next time I forget and just end up building one anyway. 
Right. You make explosives. There we go. <laughs> now I'm going to put these into a box because I'm fairly sure that at some point I'm going to need a lot of explosives for something else. Uh, let's put that there instead. But that's going to then need to fit, fill the um, assembly machine that I tried to use earlier. <laughs> and this time I'll make the cliff explosives. Uh, it's going to need another assembly machine to feed it uh, barrels because I'm not using them anywhere else, so I'm not building them. Which is going to need a supply of iron, and it's also going to need a. Oh, let's put some grenades in there manually. Like that. Um, insert a there, and one to pull out cliff explosives. Great. Go. Oh yeah, steel. Okay, that'll produce cliff explosives until it runs out of grenades, and this will produce explosives until this is full. So that seems like that seems good. And now I can do exciting things like this. <laughs> okay, that was slightly anticlimactic because I wasn't really trying to get through there, but you can see how useful that's going to be. <clears throat> if I'd had those earlier, this bus would have carried on straight down through these cliffs and these cliffs, or maybe through these cliffs and these cliffs. <laughs> and so now, well, this mine's still in the way, but maybe we'll get through all of that iron before, before I actually need to build over it. Or alternatively, I'll just have these cliffs out of the way as well. So, yeah, that's going to make life much, much easier. And now I can move on to the next step, which is going to be um, bot-assisted warfare. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a small chunk of wall down here with the um, with the turrets placed and with some dragon's teeth and so on. And then just I'll, and then with the bots, I'll just be able to copy and paste it all the way along across here. And they should be able to deal with all of the enemies as we go. So I'm going to need some cliff explosives for this. Six might... well, I don't know. Six is enough for a start, I suppose. I... Am I carrying the other car around with me? No, I'm not. Why have I only got 33 of those bots left? I thought I had more bots than that. I thought I picked up 50 at one point, but maybe not. Did I build them automatically anyway? Yes, I did. Here. I'm... Yeah, I'm going to go back and get some more bots first. Because build, using bots in combat is quite dangerous for them. So I don't really want to have them... Um, well, they are probably going to get blown up. And I want to have some spares so I don't run out. I also want to know why this has stopped stopped working. I assume it's the, yeah, the sulfuric wastewater has stopped being produced because the, yeah, the oil's run out, I guess. Yeah, gas, rather. I say that, but, yeah. Ah, there's a throughput problem here. Because that's got, well, that's got 2,000 in it, but it's not getting over here quickly enough. Alright, before I do that, let's go over and put a pump in. And I'm aware the physics of the pipes is a bit dodgy, so you can't really rely on, um, pipes pushing liquid through quite as quickly as you'd want to. But that seems a bit much that it's not able to feed those five, oh, there's I suppose it's not, there's not five of those machines there's 13 of them or 12 or 11, I can't remember but lots anyway. So let's put one of these in here like that with some power. There we go, that's running a bit more effectively now. This is filling up so presumably that means this is running again. Yes, the sulphur coming out again now. Okay, good. I don't need absolutely enormous amounts of sulphur. Um, and to be honest, I don't need any plastic just yet. I will need plastic, but I don't just yet. So, no, don't hit that. Good. So for now, I think that's probably okay. I'll grab those additional cliff explosives as I go past as well, because I want to get rid of the uh, cliffs as efficiently as possible. I don't want to run out, rather. So I'll try to. Four. <laughs> Okay, well a total of 10, I don't know, might be enough, we'll see how it goes. There we go, that's some more construction bots. Now I've got about 80 of them, and I think the um, robo-port I've got in this machine can deal with... Oh, well actually, before I go, let's make sure I've got other stuff I'm going to need. So I'm going to need a lot of turrets, 150 of, 157 of them, I've only got 17 sniper turrets. Let's get some more turrets, especially the sniper ones. Put those in there, those... I've got plenty. I've got a reasonable amount of wall. Um, I might as well get more because I've got a lot of space and wall is cheap. I've got ye a lot of yellow belts. I guess I'm going to start using yellow belts on the um, on the defensive walls then. Do I have any burner inserters? No. So I need to get burner inserters, walls, and turrets. I think turrets are grabbable from here. Yes, there they are. There's only 50 in there though. 150 of those. Okay, I haven't changed this for when I started using. Um, sniper turrets as heavily as I'm using normal turrets. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, oh, I need to get more walls. I'm going to do this on foot. The, um, the crawler machine, the construction machine, whilst it's very, very useful, 
is rather slow and a bit awkward to drive through these sort of tight, complicated areas of the base. So there's something that's making wall now. It's making walls for the um, science pack, so I'm not going to steal from there. Oh, there's 800 basic, um, what's name, belts, transport belts. I'll take those and use them for the perimeter. And there's 1,600 wall. That's, that's a lot of wall. I'm surprised it hasn't overflowed my inventory, to be honest. Oh, some more sulfur. I could have put that in the um, explosives machine. All right, dump all this junk in here. I've got some sunburner inserts, at least. Like that as well. And you know what? Let's grab any more sniper turrets that have been made while I've won. Great. <laughs> all right, one additional sniper turret it is. Okay, so I want some more burner inserters because I've got a lot of the, um, the rest of the wall building components. Just a bit short on the burner inserters, which are those ones. Okay, so once I get down there, the first step, as I was saying, is to build up a chunk of wall that I can just copy and paste, make a blueprint of probably, and so I can just slap that down all the way along. In fact, I think I probably want two different versions of the wall. One that has um, one that has densely packed turrets for areas where it looks like there's going to be a lot of combat, and then one where they're a bit more spread out because I'm not only because I'm not expecting to have any actual combat there. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is build some of this up manually. So I'll take a let's take a stack of walls. Now this is what I reckon on being my base minimum as, as defences go. So I always want to have turrets this frequently because that way the, even the normal turrets can support each other and there's just plenty of sniper turrets. So that's that's a good start and let's build up some dragon's teeth along here. Now one of my um, viewers asked me about the dragon's teeth, so there's a couple of couple of things. One was, um, are they actually a sort of a real a real thing? What, what was the idea behind them? And so the point the point of the dragon's teeth is that they they are actually um, they were used I think as anti tank defences originally. The point being that the tanks can't squeeze between them, but infantry can. So you can, and that so they're they're not a solid barricade, but they will slow down anything that's trying to drive through. The other part of the question was how did I build them so quickly? The secret was um, in the magic of video editing. Um, I'm actually doing this manually, clicking to put each one down. And yes, it is a relatively slow process, uh, but it's I don't know. It's sort of Slightly zen, slightly soothing isn't quite the right word, but it, it goes reasonably quickly. There we go, that'll do. It's probably an patch, but one more layer in, why not? So it, it runs reasonably quickly, and then when I speed the video up, it's not too boring for everyone who's watching it. So now I want to make a new blueprint, and I'll go from... This belt's running the wrong way for what I'm about to do, but never mind. I can turn that around once I've built a chunk of it. So I want to go from the edge of that turret. In fact, let's overlap the turrets like that. Um, conveniently, yes, they are a precise distance apart. There we go. So that's my um, that's my blueprint uh, for turrets. Let's put in a turret symbol on here. Here, if I can find them. There we go. Turrets. And now what I can do is I can come over here and I can go. Okay, over here, I want to have another set of this wall like that, and the bots will fly out and do it all for me. Now the risk here is that some of them are going to get shot down by these um, uh, spitters, uh, worms. Sorry. I'm hope. I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll see. What's going on down here? Why is it having trouble? Is there a... Oh, maybe there's a cliff face in there. I think there might be, actually. There we go. So, yeah, so I've got the cliff faces to get rid of the... Um, defeat the the evil... Now I've got the cliff explosives to def de defeat the evil cliff faces. And then I want to go along here. I, oh, I don't have enough of that stuff. I want... There we go. So, as you can see, the bots are flying out merrily. They've laid all the dragon's teeth for me. They're pretty slow, because these are the very, very early bots that are a bit rubbish. Um, but we'll see how we get on with the range of these turrets. No, not quite, not quite far enough. Now this is this is the point where I'm about to go into actual combat. So I think I need at this point I want to build up a second version of this blueprint that has a lot more turrets in it. However, first I want to get rid of that cliff. I don't know. When do the other question is when do I want to get rid of the cliffs? And also, what range do the um, spitters have? I think I'm going to do a little bit more of this manually, to be honest, until I get. The, um, the pattern down a bit better and there isn't a cliff right in the way. So I put that there. That would need to go there in order to get the um, get the worms. And then I, of course, need to repair it because it's in range of the worms. The biters then come running around and let's find out if I've got enough firepower to stop them. Seems to be. I just need this damn sniper turret to actually take out those, um, those worms that, it's, that are attacking it. Unfortunately, I don't know how to get it to attack a specific um, enemy. Ah, I've run out of burner inserters oh. and uh, sniper turrets. Okay, that didn't go quite as well as intended because of the um, splash damage from something that was attacking this. 
had enough splash damage to take out the um, the the inserter as well, which completely spoiled the <laughs> spoiled the plan. Let's try this again. I think I need more of this, basically. Oh, it's taken out two of the um, worms now. That's a good start. Yeah, it's just not shooting the right things. That's the problem. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this here because I don't have enough. I reckon I don't have enough guns defending this area, and another one there. Uh, I'm going to remove this wall because it's just in the way now. And drive around here, so I've got a bit more construction range. I'm also going to grab a stack of the sniper turrets if I can find them. Now maybe I should be driving this a little bit further north if I can get into it. With the idea of... Oh, what's getting destroyed? Probably the bots. Yeah, that way... No, they are just wrecking everything. <laughs> right. This is not working at all. <laughs> I say it's not working at all, actually. I've defeated a lot of the worms now, a lot of the biters, but also I'm losing a lot of bots. And I've put a lot of belts in places where they shouldn't go. Oops. Oops. Again. <laughs> right. Victory. <laughs> but at what cost, as they say? Right, I need to put some more con uh, repair packs in the vehicle. I mean, that kind of works. The problem is the, um, the worms outranged my, um, oh, so my turrets, which made it very, very difficult to... Um, to attack them safely, basically. And the, the basic theory was, was okay in that I I was able to have a defensive wall being built that was stopping the um, the biter attacks, but I wasn't really able to push the advantage and actually be... and, and, and strike back against them, as, if you like. I think the theory is fine. Theory works okay for um, for building the wall out. That's the, the bots are absolutely great at that. They're not so good at the actual combat, I think, it's fair to say. So what I'll do is copy it again, and then just keep pasting it across here. Oops, uh, undo. I forgot, I'm overlapping the um, turret. There we go. Then I can sort of drive slowly along here, very slowly, because of how slow these pots are, and we'll gradually be able to build up the, the wall as I go. And this is my, this is my now, now my new, level of basic defences. I might have gone a bit carried away with the dragon's teeth because this is quite, quite slow <laughs> and I'm running out of power. There we go, let's charge that back up again. And I'm sure the uh, solar panels are helping a little bit, but they're not going to produce enough power to uh, keep everything running. Now that base has been defeated, I don't need all of those turrets along there, so I'll pick them up to, um, so I can reuse them later. In fact, I'll just put them back in. No, I'll hang on to some of these. I'll give the gun turrets back. I must use the sniper turrets for defence. Okay, next section. Okay, <laughs> that's why there wasn't any there. The bots' priorities aren't great, to be honest. It'd be nice if they could um, be trained to put basically work from top to bottom, I guess. <laughs> so put the belts down first, then the turrets, then the wall, and well, maybe the belts and the walls, and I don't know. But whatever it is, it's not quite right. Oop, I've woken up the worms and the fighters. It's being attacked. Is it the bot? Yeah, it's the bots as well as the <laughs> the bots carrying the um, uh, alien. Do breeze back. <laughs> okay, that's a um, a defensive line set up now. That's going to work quite well, I think. Yeah, it's already stopping the um, the biters from getting too close, but it's not really able to do anything about the base itself because that's that's still too far away. So, advance a little bit further. Now, what I'm going to do this time, and the reason I've gone a bit further north, is I'm going to put the belt down manually since biters don't seem to mind belts too much, and then I'm going to copy. I'm just going to put in the first row of the defences. So that much, because the, bite, the bots will be able to put that down much more quickly and without getting as close to the enemy. Is this going to work? Let's find out. Something's not working. Something's getting destroyed. It's the inserters. Are they getting their own back? That's the question. Where are the sniper ones? Ow. That's helped a bit. I seem to have run out of... Yes, I've run out of sniper turrets. That's a pain. I've also run out of repair packs, which is um, another slight problem. I see I've run out of repair packs inside the... Um, construction vehicle rather than at all. Okay, so that range is is now sufficient to keep them at bay. Ow, there's, there's alien, there's acid there. <laughs> Let's not walk in that. But it's not really doing enough to defeat them properly. So what I need to do at this point is do the old thing of where I drop a sniper turret in sort of here and shove a load of ammunition in it and keep it repaired in order to just take down as many of the spawners as I can. There we go, that's two of them down. Ah, this might be too much. 
yeah, that was too much. <laughs> there goes all my uh, red ammunition as well. That was a bad. That was a badly pl badly placed one. Is there another? Um, okay, no. I, I thought there were more aliens coming up from not far away. Maybe it was maybe it was from down here. What's that? Oh no 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 no! Don't replace that turret. <laughs> Oops. Right. I need more red ammunition. Okay. Put that there. Ammo. Repair. I feel like I'm only getting about one um, alien, one alien spawner before I um, have to pull the gun turret up because it's getting too much attention. Uh, maybe if I go in from the other side. I'm definitely making progress though. Let's go over here, then I can take those out without too much. That's one. Nope. <laughs> uh, nope. That was a bad place to put one, I have to admit. Oh, this is frustrating. Surely there must be a better way of doing this. I mean, I'm making very, very... I'm making progress. It's just frustratingly gradual. Like that. I mean, I, I took out a spawner. Great. But only one. And there's, there's three of them left now. So, I mean, this will eventually win the day for me, but it's going to take a while, and it's it feels cheesy. Also, I keep running out of turrets. Okay, let's go after the worms this time. And if I put it here, then... When it gets the attention of the biters, at least the biters will be taken out by the um, other turrets. And maybe the spitters as well, we'll see. Yeah, that looks promising. I've put the wrong type of ammunition in it, of course, but it's getting sufficiently small amounts of abuse that this is actually working. Oh, it's all here. I've got plenty of that ammunition. Now, I can just put that there, and there's not much to cause it problems. i say that. It's still not attacking the right thing. <laughs> One more go. Where is it? There it is. Nope, it's not attacking anything it should. What's the range on my machine gun like? Not enough, not enough. <laughs> Especially as the biter seems to be bringing in reinforcements from the um, from the next base down. And that's a large one, I can't fight them. Ooh, I can do that though. <laughs> okay. Now the question is, are these biters going to leave me alone? Or are they going to keep regularly coming up and attacking? I suspect it's probably going to be the latter. Uh, let's see. Oops. How do I... There we go, that's how I... Let's fill in all the gaps in the um, dragon's teeth now. And have a bit of a think about the next move. So that was quite difficult, to be honest. It was um, I wasn't expecting to have quite that much trouble with a, a relatively small base like that. Um, maybe it's because it was backed up by this one that's quite a lot bigger. Maybe it's just because I'm not very good at this. But that's a relatively small base as well. Is that going to give me the same amount of trouble? And that one, 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 and that one. And this one's bigger. Uh, I'm not sure. That one is in the middle of... There's not much around. Actually, there's a load of forestry here. I wonder if I could do the... Um, get the car and just loop round and round and round it throwing grenades at things. As long as I had a wall to kite back to, that might work. That might be more effective, to be honest. Yeah, I seem to be out of out of sight and out of mind for this nest, so I'm not getting too much abuse from it. I'm probably going to have to take out that one and that one as well. There's some oil here as well. I don't know if oil... I think oil is similar to, similar to process to, um, to gas, but I think it's a bit harder, or at least requires a bit more, so I'll um, try and Get that for now if I can. We'll uh, we'll see how that goes. I do have 31 uh, cliff explosives now. That's a, that's useful. And 8,000 plastic. That's going quite well. It's going slowly, but, consi but consistently. Okay, that's given me enough coverage to get that bit of wall finished as well. Are all the robots being used? I doubt it. I don't know. I think I've got a maximum. I think this is a maximum of 50, was it? Yeah, 50 robots. Which is quite good. They're just very, very slow. So those 30... Those 80, in fact, have got lots of spares. They're just... Oh, no, that's because they're all coming back. Cool. What's going on down there? Presumably that's a, um, a cliff that needs explosives in. Boom! Close that off again. I should make some more repair packs as well. What am I running out of? Iron? Really? I don't have any amount of iron. It's a shame. Now, at some point, this built construction is going to get the attention of this nest. I think I might be able to get away with this... I might be just far enough away that they won't notice me. But along here, I definitely need to switch back to, yeah, this sort of frequent turret building. Well, that's gone wrong somewhere. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, I've got to the point where all the bot's batteries are dead now, so they're all sitting around the um, construction vehicle trying to recharge. That's going to slow things down a bit. Have a is the turret construction finished? It's still going. 47. Why is that so slow? Is it... So maybe it's this cog machine that uh, can't keep up with feeding two turret machines. And maybe just maybe it's just that sniper turrets are expensive. There's a gap there. <laughs> I find that offensive. 
Can I build it up? My yes, I can. Oh, okay, I'm just about close enough. Why well, I'm just close enough, rather. Really. There we go. Oh, no, that's alright. It's just zoom level things. Ah, I have actually run out of sniper turrets. That sucks. Oh, no, I've got some in my uh, pockets. I'm going to put them back in here so they'll actually get deployed. Next question. How's the ammunition production keeping up? Probably quite well, out of thought, because there's... Yeah, there's loads of it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's having to build some, but... I mean, that's the point of a factory, right? The, um... The fact that the belt can still comes all the way back here is absolutely great. It means that's going without problems. Okay, that worm has noticed me. It hasn't triggered any of the um, biters or spitters to come running down here yet. So I might get away with this. <laughs> <clears throat> right, I do appear to be out of its range. That's good. It means I can just come over here and blow these up. Finish off my cliff explosives. Let's think about weapons again. I think all of this is going to require... Um, all of this is going to require blue science and plastic, I suspect. What about lasers? That's the obvious next thing. Well, let's let's start with the research anyway. Um, I, can, oh, I can build laser, or I can research laser turrets. They do require batteries though, which is another sulfur thing, as far as I remember. Um, why a laser turret requires a battery, I'm not quite sure, but apparently it does. Plastic and sulfur. Oh, plastic and sulfuric acid. Okay, so yeah, plastic and sulfur in various various forms. How's the heavy turret supply? Sniper turret, 27. It's not too bad. What are we waiting for? There's a few bits of wall left to place. And a turret. I mean, I could just carry this on, to be honest. Ignore those um, aliens completely and just keep building the wall. Oh, no, I can't. I can't get around this. <laughs> I can't get around this cliff in the way here, because if I drive up here, they'll attack me. I can't drive below it, because all of this stuff I've built's in the way. So I just can't carry on. I could put down another chunk of the, the um, this stuff, though, I suppose. Um, ah, look at that beautiful bot ballet. Just imagine what this would look like if the bots moved about ten times as fast. In fact, you probably don't have to, because this has been such a slow process, I've probably sped it up to ten times as fast, so you've already seen it. Also, imagine what it would look like if the bots built in a slightly more sensible order, so that wasn't... so we didn't have a belt waiting for one piece in the middle of it, when uh, everything else has been completed. Right, all done. Let's go and get some more cliff explosives, some more sniper turrets, and... I don't know, am I running out of anything else? I've got lots of wall. I don't know how quickly I'm getting through it. I did pick up an enormous amount of it. I've got about two-thirds of the belts I picked up. I've got a lot of bricks. Maybe I should be building a road along here as well. Maybe later. Can I get around that wall? I don't know. Let's not risk it. I did wonder if I could realistically use the crawler for combat, uh, but it's so slow and lumbering, I suspect it's just going to get slaughtered by any, um, any spitters and worms that see it. I don't think it changes direction quickly enough to really be able to dodge. And occasionally I drive into rocks. Um, it does drive, deal with rocks and trees and things a lot better than the car does, though. So it's got that going for it. I think I'll pick up a car, though. They are quite useful for... Um, well, for this 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 bit, for example, I could nip back up north and grab... Because I don't need all that many re um, resources. All I need is some more, more turrets and maybe some more walls. Those are the main things I've run out of. And then all the rest of it I could just leave in the machine down there. Let's put some of those gun turrets back, actually. I don't need that many. don't need any of those. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I've just put all of my inventory into the crawler vehicle. Um, and I'm never going to be able to work out what I want to have and what I don't want to have. Um, never mind. Uh, it's not ideal, but I'm probably going to keep the crawler vehicle nearby so I can grab stuff out of there. All right, let's research laser turrets. The other thing I wanted to look, about was, look at was vehicle turrets. Are there any vehicle turrets that I can pick up and put on my on my crawler vehicle. There's a shield there. What does that require to build? Red circuit boards, okay. That would be useful though. Overdrive motor presumably just makes the vehicles move faster. That'd be nice, but that requires blue circuit boards. That's another... Th oh, and electric engines. So that's two more things I need to worry about. Now the first one in the list is this plasma cannon. And that's... Actually, that's only gated behind, behind lasers, actually. That's not too bad. Uh, but it does require blue science, so that's currently a bit out of reach. Laser defense presumably is similar. Uh, Except, no, that requires quite a lot more. That requires grinding and gems and gem 2 and stuff and nonsense and, yeah. Interesting, a plasma cannon sounds more effective than a laser defence. I'm not sure why. Maybe just because it's new and different. Because there's um, personal lasers and obviously laser turrets in fa in uh, vanilla Factorio, but no plasma weapons at all. Some of these might require batteries as well. Okay, so vehicle weapons are gated behind blue science, so I can't get those at the moment. Um, but I can get these laser turrets. At least I can get them researched which is a, a good start. I'm not going to bother picking up any more walls for now. 
Oh, I did want a car though. For possible combat. Definitely for zipping around, shooting, zipping up and down and picking things up more quickly. Car? Car. I like that the um, crawler doesn't take damage when you drive into cliffs. It's very useful. It feels possibly slightly OP, but I'm not going to complain. I mean, I think even the tank takes damage when you drive into cliffs. I could probably clear up some of these um, turrets, actually, and they're not... Now that I've got another layer of defence south of them, they'll hopefully never be needed, and then I could reuse them rather than having to build more expensive turrets. Num, 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 num. <laughs> All right, let's drive right through the middle of this forest again. That made, uh, made a lot of noise last time. Make sure I missed that pile on, though. <laughs> There's a rock in the middle of there. And another one. Ah, I forgot to bring any more iron down, which was... Oh, I didn't get any more... Oh, yeah, I didn't get any more cliff explosives. That's definitely something I need. Just watch repairing while I'm here. Forty-one. Not bad. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so I was going to try zipping round that base over there with the car. Oh, I don't have any grenades left because I put them all in to be made into cliff explosives. But I think at this point bullets are more effective anyway. I don't have any fuel. Fuel. Ammo. Okay, so my hope is to be able to take out this one just with bullet weapons. Because it's only got one spawner. If I can if I can kite all of these spitters out of the way first. Ah, they've got homing projectiles. Come on, you lot. Come over here. Ah! No! The homing weapons are very dangerous because they home. Help. <laughs> well, that was appalling. I did absolutely nothing useful there. Yeah, maybe the zipping around around them in circles method of combat isn't quite so good. Actually, I'd have been okay if I'd had a better um, better equipped defensive wall to run back to. Uh, because it would have slaughtered them a lot more quickly before they were able to blow the car up. How, um, especially if I'd made a proper gap in the wall and been able to zip through it. Um, but I didn't, so I got owned. Oh, I suppose. Wow, look at all that alien resources. Let's risk nipping out to get all of that. Because there is a lot of it. And a lot of the big ones as well. I don't know how much more the big ones are worth. Ooh, here comes the enemy. If I run up here, they should get dealt with pretty quickly. <laughs> the blue ones still seem to be um, one-shottable, which is nice. Oop, spotted. Right, hold on. Let's fill the holes in. It feels wrong not to. <clears throat> so, this lot. Well, I suppose the first thing to do is to kite the loose aliens down to the turret wall and get rid of them all. Ah! That was not expected. I didn't... I thought I... Yeah. yeah. Splash damage. Splash damage is dangerous. Well, okay, now I feel a bit stupid. Uh, pistol of shame. Let's grab some coal and a car and I'll head back down and... Yeah, so, um, not do it again quite like that. That was just sudden and unexpected. I'm... I guess I've, I've rather underestimated how much the out damage output of the biters has gone up. I expect to be able to take at least a minute of, well, at least a certain amount of abuse from them before I die, but no, they're actually now, they're sort of, they're scaled for the walls and turrets that I may or may not have by this point, and probably don't. So they're, so when they shoot at sort of an, un, un, an un, unarmoured and un, unarmed and unarmoured me, they do enormous amounts of damage. What's getting destroyed? Some wall where? Oh, okay, over there, that's not a problem. Still, let's have some... Can I research better armour? I can have the modular armour. Uh, let's have that. I don't know whether it offers more defence than the um, regular this, uh, this armour. What does that say? 20% um, explosion, 6%... I'm not sure how to read those numbers. Those don't seem to be much better. But it will allow me to put modules in it at least, which is um, going to help. So I think it's probably equivalent, but allows modules. And uh, I'll get ammo later. I have to admit, I'm kind of wondering if I should have another go at that um, nest up here, nest up there that I tried before and got my car blown up at. I probably shouldn't. I should probably, you know, learn my lesson and take it under advisement and that sort of thing. Okay, let's kite with the car. That's a lot safer. Unless I run into a brick like that. Ah, for goodness sake. Yeah, follow me over here. Don't go for my other stuff. So yeah, the reason I'm doing this kiting isn't just for fun and to get some cheap kills. The idea being that if there's fewer biters lurking around the nest, then it should be a lot easier to go in and just um, either run around shooting things or alternatively turret creep up there because I won't have as many biters or, in this case, spitters to deal with. Um, the problem is, once the nest gets over a certain size, why can't I pick up? 
Okay. Once the nest gets over a certain size, it tends to re replenish its um, biters as quickly as you can kite them away. So that doesn't really work quite so well. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do here, get some cheap belts and some splitters. That'll do. We want to go up. Let's go up here, right into the middle of the base. And I'll copy. Right, that's one of each. That'll do. I'll put that. I'll put that there. Maybe there. Lots on the pattern and build it up for me. It's well within the protective area of my. Okay, that didn't work. No, forget it. Forget it. Stop it. <laughs> No, for goodness sake, stop it. Right, okay, that didn't work. I think it's possibly because the bots are too slow. I'm not sure. What have I got? Sniper turrets, okay. I could put that... Where's a good place? There. And if I pick up... No, don't... Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's get this out of the way so it stops trying to put things down when I don't want it to. Okay, so if I tell it... If I put down a, um, a sniper ghost... Then I can put down a, um, a burner inserter next to it, without the burner inserter just scattering coal all over the floor. So it'll pick up, it'll pick up the coal to fuel itself. Then, then it'll be ready with some red ammunition. As soon as I put this down, it'll load it like that. Run away! Ah, fire damage. It's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, that kind of worked. I took out one worm. Great. Yeah, I'm not doing that that way. That's going to take forever. If it wasn't for these cliffs then doing this would be relatively straightforward, I think. Ah, uh, but there's cliffs and too much stuff to dodge. This is really difficult. I did about a smattering of damage to that spawner, a little bit more to that spawner. It's generally rubbish. And it blew my car up in the process. I I don't know what to do about that. I do I need to put modular armor? Red circuits, of course I do. Um, I'm not sure. What's the, I wonder what the range on a laser turret is. That might be the secret. So gun turret... A, sni no, a sniper turret has a range of 30. A laser turret only has a range of 24, so that's actually worse. Can I make better sniper turrets? Yes, but I need blue science. And they only have a range of... Well, they have a range of 35. That's five more uh, for maths fans out there. <laughs> um, which is... I don't know. That might be enough, actually. That might be enough to... Because the problem is these worms. They out the big, the big worms outrange the... Um, the sniper turret, meaning if I put a sniper turret in, if the turret can shoot the uh, the worm, the worm can shoot the turret back, and the worms that are a little bit further away can also shoot the turret back, and therefore I have problems. And as you see, if I try and walk up and kite the biters down, uh, the spitters down, I can without too much trouble. I can kite loads of them down, and it's even reasonably safe because the big ones move quite slowly. But it's also qu also quite slow. So by the time I've kited them down and head back up again to have another go at shooting this spawner. Oh, I don't even have a gun or ammunition. No, it doesn't help with the shooting. Um, but the point being, by the time I get back up there again, they've spawned in enough more that it's too dangerous to be up there for more than a second or two. I'm going to give that a try anyway, actually. I mean, it's it's foolhardy, but you never know. Could be worth a shot. Okay, so we get their attention, kite them all down. They all get beaten up by my turrets. That's great. I come back up again and get killed immediately. That was even worse than I was expecting. I did kill that worm, but it's not worth dying for every dying once for every worm I take out. On the plus side, I can pick up another car now. Give it another try with that, perhaps. This is a little bit frustrating. Uh, you may be able to tell, and I'm not really sure what the answer is, apart from you know, don't suck. I want to have another go at that um, biter nest over there. I think it should be manageable. If I make a hole like that that I can shoot through, uh, disappear through rather, just try and coat these guys, I can run away, keeping their attention. And if I run through this gap, now ideally I'd have a lot more turrets on either side of the gap, but I think these should be sufficient to deal with them, especially as they're more interested in me than they are in the turrets. There's not as many turrets up here, that worries me. What are they even? They're just normal gun turrets and they're using yellow ammunition. Oh dear. I probably shouldn't run this way next time. Oh, certainly shouldn't run into those. Wow, that's ridiculous. That's pretty ridiculous too. Um, yeah, that one poison cloud hit the car. Okay, I, circ I might didn't get out of the poison cloud quite as quickly as I might have done, but it just 
the car was obliterated with, from one hit. That's crazy. Um, also, it's now a long walk back to civilization. <laughs> Let's go and use that plastic train. Probably do. Okay, you go back to. The, I want you to go to the plastic station. Uh, just go. <laughs> Easy. How much fuel's it got? Loads. And some, oh I don't know why it's got that ran those random resources in it. Okay, I've been playing for quite a long time now. I feel like I've done not very much, to be honest. Um, I've built this. I've basically, I've built this stretch of wall across here, and I've killed an alien base or two, and I've died a bajillion times and had all lots of vehicles blown up. Uh, is that really the best way to go? Maybe it is. Um, yeah, so that generally sucked. Um, not quite. I'm gonna have to, I think I'm, I'm gonna go away and have a think about it. Try and work out what I can possibly do better. Maybe try have a, have a play around um, off camera, off camera with some combat, and see if I can do it any better. Find better ways of dealing with these biters, because as it is, this just won't do. It's terrible. So yeah, sorry for being terrible, and um, I hope you'll come back in the next episode to watch me be terrible some more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.